Last time we talked, I raised the question, friend, can you and I discern the present times that we're in? It's so necessary. To today, I want to ask the next question, which is this. Can we discern the state of the church today? Are we doing the job that we're supposed to do? And if so, what is it? I run to the scriptures with this question. I run to the end of Matthew 7. I run to that moment when Jesus, Jesus takes us to this image of a storm out there, powerful, considerable strength, and it's coming. Hey, can you see it? Are you aware of it? Do you know what it can do to you, not only in this age, but also in the age to come? If so, then what happens inside of us is that there's an an urgency. There's, a, there's a, an urgency inside for us to be rescued, us to be safe, and for us to call people to be safe. I mean, you can imagine this was the preaching of Noah. Uh, build the ark, get into the ark where it's safe before the storm comes. You can see it in the, in the watchmen of the Old Testament. They would stand guard over the city and they would see the enemy coming. They would cry out, urgency, urgency, so that people could prepare people could be safe. Now, the problem I've got with the text here in the, in, the, in, the, in the Sermon on the Mount that Jesus gives us is that there are two houses and both houses look exactly the same. The difference is actually their foundations. But if you're not, if you're not wise, you're going to run to the wrong house. And that imagery just scares me to death. That people would say, ah, I can see the storm and they run into the house that's built on sand not built on the rock. And that's our work. That's our job. That's the job of the church to make sure that we are assuring the people that, we, that, we're, that we're speaking to that this place is safe. This place is a place of refuge. This has got a foundation that is solid for that foundation is Jesus Christ. Here's my problem. I think sometimes our preachers are so looking at the people out there today, how to please the people, how to make sure they're cared for, make sure we're politically correct. Most of all, the growing churches, entertain them, give them the best music, make sure they're doing well, give them an inspiring talk, a motivational talk, do anything possible to bring them inside. But my friends, it isn't the strength of the gospel that we need today. The children that are being raised up in our, in our day need a strength that is stronger than entertainment. We need the gospel to be strong, but most of all, we need the reviving power of the Holy Spirit back upon the church. My friends, are you sure the church is doing well today? Oh, they're coming in. But is this a place that's safe?